Hi, my name is Maude Guy and I'm a photographer, model, event organiser and visual merchandiser. Uh, I created We Explore for artists, photographers, models and makeup artists to get together and get to know each other, especially in the fashion industry where it's harder for you to get into unless you, don't, unless you know someone else. So this was a way for everyone who starts out to build their own brand and their own um, community as a family and just to enjoy it as well. It's a non-profit organisation which focuses on mental health awareness as well. I created We Explore New Zealand for mostly mental health awareness but also to help starting up artists such as photographer, models and makeup artists to grow and build their business with other startups. Um, we really have built a family over the past few months and we do focus on designers as well, however those are mostly people that are still showing, trying to get into the industry. We do work with well-known designers as well, however, it's mostly through this boutique. So generally we have designers give us outfits, so for the last event we worked with Rent and Rave and this boutique right here, where we worked with designers such as Nomdi and Zambezi. Um, every model is allocated an outfit which suits their personality, so that's what we really focus on is like making their own personality shine through and showing them they're special. So we did that and then at the last event, unfortunately I was not there as I had to go to Australia, but my co-director who lives in Auckland, he gave everyone their packages and from there on the photographers choose who they work with and they went through the whole of Hamilton Gardens where they um, just really express their inner beauty through these outfits that they received and we really got a lot of great, great images from that event. We are currently in Tauranga at Hashi Boutique and this is where we hold some of our events and we also had a runway show here. I do focus on this boutique quite a lot when I create my events because they focused on New Zealand based designers uh, such as Zambezi and on D back here and it's just a way to show people that it's okay to like buy fast fashion and all of that but also focus on what's local. We also have a lot of recycled clothes so that's really what I love doing here. This is one of our items that's in the green room, our recycled items, which is made by the very special lady, Judy Alvos's mother, who's the owner of Expose. Um, this is made from different plastic bags from all over the world and it's quite an honour to have it in our boutique as it's also in museums. <laughs> this is another one of my paintings except it's on clothes. So you also get a little leather but this one makes you see that you are truly beautiful as an individual and teaches you to embrace your individuality. So yeah. And this is created by Georgia, Georgia Fielding, one of my friends. It's made out of recycled clothing that she got from the off shop. So it's all different pants and jackets that she's scraped together and made an awesome jacket out of. What I do at the boutique is, <laughs> I don't really work here per se. I usually just do visual merchandising, I paint, I put up my artwork and then I just take photos and help the owner and create fashion events for her to showcase her stuff. But I don't, technically I don't work here, <laughs> but I do a lot here. I just hang out, take photos and work with fashion. So yeah. Oh, and there's lots of great conversation.
So, this was one of my first ones I brought to the boutique that is still left. And this one is very raw and personal. This is still the little letter that you can get out of the little painting. But the other ones are quite in detail when you get the letter. This one is very me and it explains exactly what I went through and what the painting is about and that's a horrible noise. But yeah, everything is anger, happiness, sadness. I paint with cardboard, I don't use paintbrushes. So I scrape it on my skin and mix it and everything is a part of me and every movement that I use is a feeling and an emotion that really, really stuck by me. And the only way I could get over it was to paint. So yeah, that's my art. So each year I print a book and fortunately for you guys, the former that's here is the one that's right there. And then you have different letters to the owners. And these are the different people. I even went to Fashion Week. And this is the owner of the shop. Her name is Mary. And she's just about as crazy as me. Maybe a bit more, but I love her. And sh sh she loves me too, I hope. And there's some more people. And my parents are in here as well, because I love them. But you know, that's my little book. <laughs> Usually, an you can buy the book uh, in the boutique or I adver advertise it online once they're sold. However, I only printed five this year, well last year, and we sold all of them immediately except for this one, but Mary claimed it. So, <laughs> she can have it. <laughs> Do you guys need any help? No, we're just getting the photo. Uh, all right, enjoy it. <laughs> you don't really bother people too much. <laughs> Let them do their thing. <laughs> I guess stop now. <laughs> the reason I started We Explore is to focus on mental health mostly. Um, I myself have a lot of problems due to my past and I have a lot of PTSD as well. And for me to show other people how to handle their mental health and like struggles in a situation where it can be quite overwhelming is quite important to me and that's why we've created such a close-knit family in the We Explore group because we all s struggle with something but we're there for each other and we know how to help each other through such a difficult moment. Yeah. The amount of models we work with is quite varying as we have the usuals who's about eight girls and three guys. However, we do accept other models as well. Whoever wants to join, can join. We, have, we literally welcome anyone with open arms. Before We Explore New Zealand, I created a different campaign called Embrace Individuality. It started in South Africa the year my best friend committed suicide. It was an experience that I couldn't or wouldn't want anyone else to go through. However, it happens on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis. Um, my friend told me before he died to always be true to yourself and show other people that light that's inside of you. And the day he died, I couldn't get out of the darkness and I couldn't shine any part of me. And a few days later, because I was so determined to show other people that they shouldn't do that, they shouldn't go leaving us behind without any explanation, I created embrace individuality and it's really opened the doors to talk to other people because I was quieter myself and it, would, it broke me down that much that I couldn't really speak to anyone and because of that it forced me to go around and take photos of people that I could see were struggling and the, there was girls who would cry and say thank you so much I really needed a confidence boost or other people would send me messages later on explaining that they really needed someone to tell them they were beautiful that day because they were also in that darkness. And experiencing 
more suicides along the way got me really, really down as well. But I never really thought that I'd be that person that would want to do it. And the day I heard my mum had cancer, she's in pain now, but the day I heard it, I was a wreck and it kind of pushed me over the edge and I tried to commit suicide. Um, luckily it didn't work, but from then on, it's with everything I do, not just embrace individuality, but every single thing that I do, I focus on mental health awareness. And even my paintings have a little letter behind explaining what I went through and how you can go through, get through your situation that you're going through because we all go through something but we don't always know that there's someone watching out for us and someone that loves us. So from then on I saw that here in Tauranga it's difficult to get to know people in the industry who don't understand you quite well and so I like went from an amazing agency to something else and it made me even stronger than I could have imagined being in the first place and through that We Explore just became a family and mental health awareness as well because there's so many people in their family that tell me that they struggle with some things or they use it as an excuse because it's hard for them to get out or maybe some girls struggle to be around guys and some guys struggle to be around girls and through the family they start building that confidence and seeing the true beauty that they are able to see after experiencing such a darkness that they were in. I believe that everyone is beautiful and unless you get to know someone's heart you won't be able to see their true beauty. It is hard in this day and age with social media and everything but if you stay true to who you are and you dress the way you want to and you wear your hair as crazy as you want to or maybe as simple as you want to, it is still okay because you are beautifully unique and that is the way you are intended to be and everyone is beautiful because they should, their hearts are always beautiful. We might not understand what they're going through but they do have their inner beauty and their inner individuality that makes them beautifully unique. This is what I use to capture the beauty every day and I do take photos every day but it does not necessarily reach my laptop every day but I do catch it up on my individuality campaign but this is what I use my 5D Mark II second hand everything on here is second hand but this is the best way I could actually capture beauty because this thing can get you so frustrated but it takes amazing photos. There you go. I will take a photo of you as well. Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be on my page now, just saying. Alright. Thank you Mount TV and it was an honour to be filmed by you. So yeah.